Active Directory AD is a directory service that Microsoft developed for Windows domain networks. It is included in most Windows Server operating systems as a set of processes and services. Initially, Active Directory was only in charge of centralized domain management. Starting with Windows Server 2008, however, Active Directory became an umbrella title for a broad range of directory-based identity-related services. A server running Active Directory Domain Services ADS, is called a domain controller. It authenticates and authorizes all users and computers in a Windows domain type network, assigning and enforcing security policies for all computers and installing or updating software. For example, when a user logs into a computer that is part of a Windows domain, Active Directory checks the submitted password and determines whether the user is a system administrator or normal user. Also, it allows management and storage of information provides authentication and authorization mechanisms, and establishes a framework to deploy other related services, certificate services, federated services, lightweight directory services, and rights management services. Microsoft Preview and Active Directory in 1999, released it first with Windows 2000 Server Edition, and revised it to extend functionality and improve administration in Windows Server 2003. Additional improvements came with subsequent versions of Windows Server. In Windows Server 2008, additional services were added to Active Directory, such as Active Directory Federation Services. Active Directory uses Lightweight Directory Access Protocol LDAP, versions 2 and 3, Microsoft's version of Kerberos, and DNS. What is Active Directory? Active Directory AD is a Windows OS directory service that facilitates working with interconnected, complex and different network resources in a unified manner. Active Directory is a database that keeps track of all the user accounts and passwords in your organization. It allows you to store your user accounts and passwords in one protected location, improving your organization's security. Active Directory is subdivided into one or more domains. A domain is a security boundary. Each domain is hosted by a server computer called a domain controller DC. A domain controller manages all of the user accounts and passwords for a domain. Why Active Directory? It helps you organize your company's users, computer and more. Your IT admin uses it to organize your company's complete hierarchy from which computers belong on which network to what your profile picture looks like or which users have access to the storage room. Active Directory may not be the only directory service platform out there, but there is no doubt it has dominated the space and exists in almost every business network today. Although typically not the authoritative record of source for users, almost every user will end up getting ad credentials. Therefore RAD is normally treated as the most comprehensive database for account logon information on most networks. Furthermore, with such reliance on Active Directory, this directory will likely be the most robust in terms of availability and accurate in terms of account details. This makes it an ideal choice as an authentication service provider for other systems. What are the features of Active Directory? Some Active Directory features are Best Security Simplified and Flexible Administration Scalability and High Availability Active Directory Levels Privileged Access Management Azure Ad Join Microsoft Passport Time Synchronization Improvements Group Membership Expiration Simple Programmatic Access Open Standard Support What are Advantages of Active Directory? Add is a statewide authentication directory that supports enterprise systems. It provides contact information and scheduling integration, along with providing mechanisms for centralized desktop management. There are multiple Active Directory environments in use across the University of Tennessee campuses and institutes. The purpose of the Active Directory project is to migrate all of these environments into a single ad forest, which will provide the following benefits. Single username and password, net ID. Password synced between ad and WDAP directory services. Reduce overhead through standardization. 
improve services through centralized management capabilities. Central storage provided for individuals and departments. Backup and restoration services for central storage. Server storage space for user documents. Backed up data on home and departmental drives. Lower departmental cost because infrastructure is managed and maintained by OIT. Highly secured access to data through the cheap MLB jerseys usage of security policies. Thereby it improves the management of data. Improve workstation security. Easily scalable. Supports millions of objects in a single domain. Unified access to resources by supporting a uniform naming convention. Provide foundation for the following ad related services. Exchange SharePoint. Can you explain old app? Old app is lightweight directory access protocol, a set of protocols for accessing information directories. Old app is based on the standards contained within the X.500 standard, but is significantly simpler. And unlike X.500, old app supports TCPIP which is necessary for any type of internet access. Because it's a simpler version of X.500, LDIP is sometimes called X.500 Lite. LDIP was created as a simplified version of DAP. It is easier to implement, amidst some of the lesser used features of DAP, and runs over TCP IP. As a result of these changes it is rapidly being adopted as the directory access protocol for most purposes replacing the multitude of proprietary protocols previously used. LDIP and ADD are both software implementations of directory services. They are also both hosted on-premises, in most cases. Can you explain PAM? Privileged Access Management PAM, is a solution that helps organizations restrict privileged access within an existing Active Directory environment. PAM accomplishes two goals. Re-establish control over a compromised Active Directory environment by maintaining a separate bastion environment that is known to be unaffected by malicious attacks. Isolate the use of privileged accounts to reduce the risk of those credentials being stolen. How is PAM different from Identity Management? PAM is sometimes confused with the border category of Identity Management IDM. There is some overlap, but the two subjects are separate and quite different. PAM is focused on privileged user access. Identity management concerns authenticating and authorizing any user who needs access to a system. A bank teller who logs into a banking application is authenticated by an item solution such as Microsoft Active Directory. Active Directory, which is based on the lightweight directory access protocol, LDAP, standard, is not well suited to PAM. It's a great product. It's just not meant to control privileged users. Not all devices with privileged user accounts integrate easily with Active Directory. Can you explain Active Directory Domain Services? Active Directory Domain Services, ADDS, is a server role in Active Directory that allows admins to manage and store information about resources from a network, as well as application data, in a distributed database. ADDS can also help admins manage in networks elements, computers and end users, and reorder them into a custom hierarchy. Active Directory Domain Services provide secure, structured, hierarchical data storage for objects in a network such as users, computers, printers, and services. Active Directory Domain Services provide support for locating and working with these objects. Can you explain Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services? Microsoft Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services, add LDS, is an independent mode of Active Directory that provides dedicated directory services for applications. Although add LDS independently provides directory storage and access for applications, add LDS uses the same standard application programming interfaces, APIs, as Active Directory to manage and access the application data. The resulting conceptual and programming compatibility makes ADD LDS ideal for applications that require directory services, but do not require the complete infrastructure features of Active Directory. ADD LDS does not include directory services for the Windows operating system, so it concentrates on the requirements of specific applications. If ADD LDS operates in an Active Directory environment, 
it can use Active Directory for authentication. Because AdLDS does not support the messaging application programming interface, Microsoft Exchange cannot use AdLDS. Can you explain Active Directory Certificate Services? Active Directory Certificate Services, ACS, establishes an on-premises public key infrastructure. It can create, validate and revoke public key certificates for internal uses of an organization. ADCS is the server role that allows you to build a public key infrastructure, PKI, and provide public key cryptography, digital certificates, and digital signature capabilities for your organization. These certificates can be used to encrypt files, when used with encrypting file system, emails, BRS, MIME standard, and network traffic, when used by virtual private networks, transport layer security protocol or IPsec protocol. Can you explain Active Directory Federation Services? Active Directory Federation Services, ADFS, is a feature of the Windows Server Operating System, OS, that extends end users' single sign on, SSO, access to applications and systems outside the corporate firewall. ADFS is a standards based service that allows the secure sharing of identity information between trusted business partners, known as a federation, across an extranet. When a user needs to access a web application from one of its federation partners, the user's own organization is responsible for authenticating the user and providing identity information in the form of claims to the partner that hosts the web application. The hosting partner uses its trust policy to map the incoming claims to claims that are understood by its web application, which uses the claims to make authorization decisions. Can you explain Active Directory Monitoring? Monitoring the distributed Active Directory service and the services that it relies upon helps maintain consistent directory data and the needed level of service throughout the forest. Ad monitoring is the combination of several techniques and methodologies aimed at reducing and resolving the problems that exist within an enterprise class network directory. Most large organizations with many domains or remote physical sites require an automated monitoring system such as Microsoft Operations Manager 2000 MOM, to monitor important indicators. An automated monitoring system provides necessary consolidation and timely problem resolution to administer Active Directory successfully. See Microsoft Doc. Can you explain rights management services? Active Directory Rights Management Services Ad RMS, is a Microsoft Windows security tool that provides persistent data protection by enforcing data access policies. For documents to be protected with Ad RMS, the application the document is associated with must be RMS aware. Ad RMS, known as Rights Management Services or RMS before Windows Server 2008. RMS is a server software for information rights management shipped with Windows Server. It uses encryption and a form of selective functionality denial for limiting access to documents such as corporate emails, Microsoft Word documents, and web pages, and the operations authorized users can perform on them. Can you explain ad management? Ad management, active directory management is the process of managing and monitoring the operations of the Active Directory service that is mostly found in Windows Server operating systems. Ad management is part of the server or network monitoring and management processes, which ensure that Active Directory is behaving as required. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers www.interviewgig.com like share and comment don't forget to click the subscribe button click the bell button for latest updates